Hey everyone, it's Karen with Yes Please Paper Crafts. And today I have another stuck layout for you guys. This is number five in the series. And uh, I was almost completely finished with this layout. And then I decided to uh, use some Heidi Swap Color Shine because I thought the top of the layout looked a little plain. It was just this really dark navy paper at the top. And uh, so I got this gold Heidi Swap Color Shine out and started to put some splatters on my layout. Now I was doing this when I had a couple of my friends over and they were packing up to leave. And so I was very distracted and I just was splattering it on there and uh, not paying attention. And so then I touched it and made some smudges. And uh, I just uh, was really disappointed because <laughs> I thought I was done with the layout. And instead I ended up with something I was gonna have to try to fix. So anyway, after they left, I decided that I would try to add some more Heidi Swap Color Shine, thinking maybe I could cover up the places that were uh, smudged, and I just made it worse. <laughs> so I think this is why a lot of people are afraid to use mixed media, especially when you're adding it at the very end. And uh, sometimes it works out really well for me. Other times it's something like this will happen. And I take that as an opportunity to make my layout even better than when I started. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, so I was thinking about, you know, how could I fix this and uh, what did I need to cover up? And uh, one of the things that I didn't like about what I did was, well, there's some smudges in both of these areas. And then I added more color shine, which is really heavy because I was trying to cover up my mistake. But I also decided since I had so much color shine at the top of the layout, I would put it down here at the bottom. And I don't like how this looks down here on this pink paper. Uh, so... I have kind of two problems with this layout. One is I need to try to cover some of this up somehow. And the other thing is that I need uh, to change out this pink paper because I don't like how these splatters look at the bottom. They just look weird. It doesn't look random. It just, it's just, uh, I don't know. It's just the way that I did it. it didn't really come out very well. So for this layout, I did use some papers from this paper pad. This is called the Navy Florals. It's a DCWB paper pad, and uh, both this border strip right here, which I fussy cut out, and this pink paper came from this paper pad. Now, this blue paper, which it's really a really, really, really dark blue. It's almost like a charcoal blue, like almost a combination between a charcoal blue and a gray. And uh, I don't really remember where I got that, but it was from a paper pad, and this is the back side of it, but... It's from a paper pad that I got from Michaels, and I can't remember if it was a Craftsmith or Recollections or DCWB, but it was something that I got at Michaels. And uh, so that's what I'm starting with. So I do have another piece of this pink paper, and so I could potentially just cover that up and uh, just put another piece of this paper down. Uh, but I think I'm going to take this opportunity to change that paper out and to use something different. And that's partly because... I have so much, such a dark color at the top and then my embellishments ended up being very pastel and very light and I have you know a lot of gold and I think that I would do better with a different color down here. So the first thing that I'm going to do to fix this layout is to switch out the paper at the bottom. I'm actually gonna, just going to cover it up so I'm going to have to take the photo off. These are not really glued down yet. I should be able to pull the numbers off. And I'll need to pull uh, the heart off and uh, I should be able to lift this up and slide the paper underneath. So luckily I haven't really glued anything down. I used an ATG gun. I have some foam tape in a couple of spots and uh, so I should be able to pull that up without damaging it too much. And I'm going to be covering over this anyway so it doesn't matter if I tear this pink paper. Okay, so what I wanted to do, what I wanted to start off doing was I want to try to look at this layout and see if there's another paper from here that I think would work better than the one that I started with. And so I'm just going to flip through here. And uh, I like this uh, kind of a yellow color. So possibly I could do something with that paper. And that might actually work out a little bit better because it's a darker color. And I think it there wouldn't be as much contrast between the top and the bottom of the layout. So I could potentially use... Uh, this yellow paper and or this one here which is also another yellow paper with little circles little flowers 
So a lot of these papers are very busy, so I don't think I would want to use anything like this paper that has the gold lease. I uh, could potentially use this red, but there's not a lot of red, this red color. I think there's this one flower, and then there's a couple of flowers here. So that might kind of stand out too much. That's too busy. Um, that really doesn't go with the layout. I don't want to do anything pink. And uh, this could work, but it does, it does look a little bit busier than some of the other patterns that were in this same color. And that's too busy, too busy, too busy. And then I have this blue paper, but I really think that the yellow would work better. So I think I'm going to pick one of the yellow papers. So let's go back here. So I have this paper, I'm gonna flip this around. My paper pad just decided to fall apart. <laughs> and I'm just going to put this here so you can kind of, you know, get an idea of how this is going to look if I decide to use that paper. Um, it's going to give a whole nother effect to this layout. And I really think that's pretty with the flowers. So let's see what else did I have. I also had um, another one here. Yeah, this one here so I could also do this one but this actually looks a lot busier than the first one that I tried out and then there was a third one that had yellow let's just kind of take a look and see how that would work and that's this one here flip this back around oops I'm gonna have to fix this paper pad it's falling apart okay so and this would be uh how this one would look and I really think this is too busy as well so I think I'm going to go with that one with the flowers see if I can find this one right here was it that one no I think it was this one and you can kind of see between these two papers that this was more of a tone on tone you can't really see as much of the pattern but this one you can actually see uh, more of a pattern so I think I'm going to go with this one, which reads more like a solid. So let me go ahead and pull this paper out. All right, so I think that's going to be really pretty. And you can kind of get an idea of how that's going to look. Uh, once I pull this layout apart, it's going to be, uh, I think, even better than when I started. Which was, sometimes I think when you make a mistake... You can, um, you know, get disappointed and maybe throw the layout away or, you know, just kind of try to cover it up as best you can. But I like to look at it as an opportunity and try to see if there's something else that I would like to change. Because if I'm going to pull the layout apart anyway, then maybe uh, there might be something else that uh, I could do that would be better. And so I think in this case, I'm going to change the pink paper for this and I'm not going to do any Heidi Swap color sign at the bottom because it, this paper is almost like a gold and looks very similar to the color up here. So I think that's going to work out much better than the pink would. Okay, then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to move some embellishments around so that I can try to cover up some of the splatters that I did that don't look very good. And so probably one thing I'm going to try to do maybe is put the butterfly somewhere up there and that might try to cover up some of that. Um, I also was thinking about taking this tag. I didn't really like these two clusters so close together. And I'm going to take this opportunity to move this tag and flip it um, to where it's on the top of the layout coming down. And that's going to allow me maybe to cover up some of this down here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And y'all know I can't scrap and talk at the same time. So I'm just going to uh, speed this video up and do a voiceover for the remainder of this video. So let's go ahead and get started fixing this layout. So I didn't have to take much of the layout apart in order to fix it. I removed the date and also this heart. And that heart was a little bit of a challenge to get off because I had used foam tape and it was really sticky. But I did manage to uh, get that off. And then I lifted up the picture and also that border strip. And I'm just going to tuck this paper underneath and glue it down. And I decided that I wouldn't worry about how uh, long the paper needed to be I could just cut it off at 12 inches 
and I thought that would be a much easier way uh, to get that even with the bottom of my layout. I'm also going to trim off the side because you could see a little bit of that dark blue paper. It was just a very small amount, but I was able to trim that off with this paper trimmer. Now, the paper trimmer that I'm using comes from Creative Memories, and it's the most awesome paper trimmer ever. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move this tag. I decided that instead of having the tag on the side, I would put the tag there at the top of the layout. And I really did like that much better. I thought um, there was more separation between that cluster at the top where the tag was and then the uh, cluster that's on the left side of this layout. So one of the other things that I wasn't too happy with on this layout was my title. I had the title Haley and Shiloh because that's my niece's name and her dog's name. And uh, I just thought that uh, the way that I had it, it just looked like there was an empty spot there above Shiloh, just because those letters were super tiny. And so I had this idea that maybe I could get a dog and or something uh, to put there above his name, just to kind of give that some more weight, because right now it looks kind of puny there all by itself. And there's just this blank spot uh, right above that uh, word Shiloh. So I spent quite a bit of time going through this ephemera looking for something to put there above Shiloh's name. Uh, but in the end, I ended up not using that just because it was so close to the sticker that I had there uh, that had the girl with the bow. It just didn't look right. It was just too much there together. And I tried it without the girl, but I didn't like it. And I tried it with just the dog head, and uh, I didn't like that either. Tried putting the girl on the other side, but there was just way too much on that side of the layout. And so I'm just going to scrap the idea of using the dog head and I'm going to try something else. So the next thing I'm going to try is to move the title over and put the ampersand above Shiloh's name. And I really did like that so much better. And I'm just going to uh, push the names over toward the middle of the photo, just so there's a little bit of space on either side and center the title above the photo. And I just thought that came out so much better and it really made my title look more cohesive and kind of like it belonged together and it was more readable. So I really liked that so much better than how I originally had that. Okay, so the other thing that I needed to fix on this layout was that um, I had put an embellishment across the bottom of my photo and then I decided not to use it. And so when I took that sticker off, it left some sticky residue. And so I'm just looking at this flag and possibly uh, using that there somewhere on the bottom of that picture to cover up that mistake that I made. So I decided that I would use this piece to cover up that mistake. And I wanted to make it a little bit smaller and I'm just using this uh, guide that's on the Creative Memories paper trimmer to figure out exactly where this is going to cut before I cut it. And uh, that's one of the really nice features about this particular paper trimmer. And it's very similar to the Fiskars paper trimmer that has the wire. And that's one of the features I really love about the Creative Memories trimmer. And uh, I just love being able to use that guide to figure out exactly where I'm going to cut. Okay, so now that I have the bottom of the layout fixed, I'm going to work on fixing the top. And uh, this was a little bit of a challenge just because I had those areas that really had a lot of that high spot color shine. And so I wasn't really going to be able to cover that up, but I was okay with uh, being able to see some of it. So I did cover it up by putting a butterfly on the part on the right. And I looped around the yarn that was on my tag several times and kind of put it on top of that place that was splotchy to try to cover some of that up. And I thought it looked okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more Heidi Swap color sign because <laughs> I needed to have that go all the way across the top of the layout. I just wanted to make it look like it was more random and kind of like a night sky across the top of my layout. And I thought it came out really pretty. So now that I have this fixed, I decided to play around a little bit with some of the embellishments and uh, I wanted to try to use a flare button that I had made, but it just didn't really fit anywhere on the layout. So I ended up getting some enamel dots out and I had these little gold puffy hearts. So I used a few of those and scattered those around the layout. And then I also found some pink uh, hearts that I'm going to put. Those were uh, smaller ones and I put a few of those there as well. 
I really love adding the enamel dots. I think it's like adding jewelry to your layout. And I thought it brought a really fun touch because I had the gold glitter thickers, uh, the little foam sticker that I had of the girl with the bow. That bow was uh, gold metallic. And uh, so I thought it would be just fun to add some more gold. Of course, I had the gold Heidi Swap color shine on, on there as well. Okay, so that's going to be it for this layout. If y'all want to stick around to the end, I have some close-ups of the finished layout, including a side-by-side -side comparison of the layout that I started with and then how it uh, got to redone. And then I uh, also have a short video clip of my two dogs, Bella and Lily Bell. If you want to stick around for that, it's at the very end of this video. So I had a lot of fun redoing this layout and uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this scrapbook process video. And if you like this video, please give it a like. If you would like to see more videos, please subscribe. I would love to have you join my channel. And I hope y'all have an awesome week. Y'all take care and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Hi, Miss Bella. Are you going to talk to me? <laughs> Hi, Miss Bella. What you doing? Are you being a good girl? No! <laughs> I know you want something, but I'm not giving it to you because you're being a whiny little girl. You're being a whiny little girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, we don't like whining. <laughs> whiny girls don't get things, special things. Are you a good girl? No. <laughs> You're a bad girl? <laughs> well, I know you want that, but it's not that time to have any of those things. <laughs> Little girl, you gonna come over here and say hi? Come over here. No? Bella, can you say hi to the YouTube people? Bella? Miss Bella, can you say hi? <laughs> You're gonna pout. Miss Bella, can you say hi to the YouTube people? Why did you go in a circle? <laughs> Were you thinking about laying down and pouting because I asked you to say hi? Yeah, <laughs> you seem quite upset. <laughs> I know, but you're not getting anything right now. Because <laughs> you're being a brat and you're whining and that's not nice. I know. Only good girls get special things. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be a good girl? You are? Yeah? Okay. Your life is so hard. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh huh. <laughs> you sure got a lot to say today. <laughs> you seem quite upset. <laughs> Did Mama go to the kitchen and she didn't get you anything? <laughs> I know, but you can't expect to get something every every time I go into the kitchen. Nope. <laughs> it just doesn't work that way.
Y'all are getting too spoiled. Uh huh. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think the little girl's gonna try to stay out of this one, huh? You got anything to say, little girl? Miss Lily Bell, you gonna come over here? Come over here. Come see me. Do you got anything to say? Where are you going? No. <laughs> hi, Lily Bell. Do you have anything to say today? Would you like to say hi? Can you speak? No. <laughs> Hi, Miss Lily Bell. How are you doing today? Are you being a good girl? Are you being a good girl? Nothing to say today? You gonna be quiet? Can you speak? Nope. Can you speak? Okay, whoop whoop. Bella, can you say hi to the YouTube people? Miss Bella, can you say hi to the YouTube people? <laughs> you sound like a little pig. Miss Bella. Miss Bella, can you say hi to the YouTube people? <laughs> Y'all are just gonna lay there and not just ignore me. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs>